with another video. And this time, we're doing dating advice. This brother's talking about, am I gonna be single for life if I don't change my personality? So, I'm a very polite, quiet, reserved, and a little boring. I was okay with this, but I finally got a date and was friend zoned for this exact reason. This has hit me hard. Am I gonna to need to change my personality to get dates? I was content with who I am, but being single for life is not appealing either. Quick one, quick email. But nonetheless, think about it like this. Let's just say you are not dating. Let's just say you go to a networking event, right? And you have a business that you wanna promote. Let's just say, I don't know, you're a gym uh, owner and you go to a gym conf uh, network me networking meeting or a conference, right? <laughs> And you, you are, in your own words, polite, quiet, reserved, and a little boring, okay? Compare that to someone else who's out there who is same, polite, not quiet though, not reserved, and more entertaining. Who do you think, when they meet you versus like one of these um, stands, for example, to prospect for business, right? for your gym to be opening up in their area, right? Or council or whatever. Who do you think is gonna win that contract? You, the polite, reserved, quiet, boring person, or the polite, not quiet, not reserved, more outgoing person who is not boring? They will be able to hold the conversation better. They will be able to interact with that person better. They will be able to interact with that person on a like deeper emotional level so that they feel connected to that person, right? Whereas if you're just quite reserved and a little boring as you just stated, you, it doesn't matter how many meetings you have, if there's another person like that in the room, you're gonna get blown out of the water because they're always gonna find that business and you will end up broke and probably living under a bridge somewhere. That is the reality of what you're saying in this thing right here. So let's now turn into dating in the same way. If you are just that, what you just described versus someone else who's out there, why wouldn't a woman go for that person who is better? <laughs> like, not not better in a sense of like, oh, they're worth better than you, but just like more fun, more entertaining, more gonna take them places, more gonna do things with them. Who wants to be sat, I don't wanna be sat at home constantly just doing fuck or like staring at you, right? I wouldn't want that either. So would you? Maybe you would, that's fine. But nonetheless, you know when you like are speaking to girls and when you're like young, for example, right? And they say, oh, just be yourself. That in general is good advice, ad advice, but it actually runs deep because you need to learn how to unstifle yourself, how to remove all the fears and insecurities from yourself to then be yourself. Being yourself, riddled with insecurities, riddled with fears, riddled with all these complexes you put on, on yourself, right? Through just living up to this point. That is not the be yourself person they are telling you to be. They are telling you to be the person who's underneath all of that bullshit. So like <clears throat> more of your like childlike self before society kind of fucked you over and like put their perceptions onto you and their perspectives onto you. You need to like shed all of that bullshit and live from a truly like almost childlike like um point of view be curious about things be outgoing be like because i'm sure you weren't always boring you wanted to do something right and you wanted to explore things you wanted you're curious about certain things it's about taking away all the conditioning you've been through and then unshedding yourself to that true self you are deep down underneath all the years of conditioning the only way you get through there <clears throat> And to that point is by purposely like evaluating where you are right now. It's actual work, it, to be honest, it's actual work. Like it's not, it's not, it doesn't sound fun what I'm gonna describe, but it's like journaling. It's like talking to yourself like out loud as you're walking, when you're driving, just like think things through and talk them out loud if you need to, write things down, like record videos of yourself, etc. Read books on the matter. If you wanna get better at a certain topic, you have to need some read books on it make notes on that, reiterate those notes, try it out in the field, come back to it. Like, it's a process, but it's a process for life. This is just like something you need to incorporate throughout the rest of your life. Like, girls told me, just be yourself when I was younger, but 
myself didn't know gay, myself didn't know how to speak to a woman, how to introduct, how to make an introduction, how to break the ice, how to be witty, how to be funny, etc. Right? These are things that I've learned. These are all skills that I've learned to advance to to put my like business front in the best possible light for a prospective customer to like oh i want to walk inside that shop i want to see what that guy's selling i want to see what this shop sells etc this is a skill unfortunately for you uh you just have to learn it you just have to go through it unfortunately i wish there was a better way i wish you could say yeah it's okay you can be quiet reserved very polite and a little boring and you'll get the girl of your dreams unfortunately you won't because the girl of your dreams is probably um in terms of like statistically speaking the girl of hundreds of thousands of people of men's dreams as well right and you're competing with all of them because there's only a handful of men <clears throat> let's just say out of 100 percent of men probably about 10 percent get the girl they actually want 90 percent have to settle for girls that they, they don't really want or like aren't super attracted to etc or they would prefer someone else etc right but that's what because 90 percent of men aren't doing the things that is required of them to develop themselves to enhance themselves to improve themselves so that the girl of their dreams would want them why would the girl of their dreams settle for them when they're just a little boring and like quiet and reserved whereas she's got someone else who is so much more entertaining so much more enjoyable to be with more fun to be around it, like more people like him he has more opportunities etc he has more like friends he has more things going on in his life why wouldn't they want that right so i know it's not what you're gonna hear but yeah you just need to be better in general undo all the years of conditioning be that true self you are deep down turn that into the man you need to be and live true to that person and not to this boring persona that you've put on because i guarantee it is it's just years of conditioning that's done it to you so that being said that is my advice i hope that helps make yourself proud and i'll see you in the next video